Here are five favorite workshop items for week 75 in no particular order. First, we have a courier named the Corsair Song of the Storm, created by Chicken Basket. It's a ship that rolls around on wheels at the start, and then when upgraded will fly around with the help of a hot air balloon and sail. I think this is a genius courier. In some of its art, it portrays five heroes, but for me, I think this reminds me most of Kunkka. Be sure to check out the great animations in the video on the workshop page. Also, I have to be honest here, seeing a mechanical courier like this really makes me wonder, where's Cardi? Next, we have a very rare single non-minion item addition from us. The Goblin's Rocket Propelled WMD created by Postman and Zajai. Although cartoony, this is one of my favorite single items of all time. It truly works for a goofy type hero like Gyro. If only you could make his homing missile look like this. Third is surprisingly our only set of the week. It's named the Heirlooms of the Eol Dryas for Silencer and was created by Peter Ivancek and Davorek. It comes with six items including threads, bracers, a tunic, headgear, buckler, and weapon. I'm a real fan of the shield on this set as it kind of resembles the one included in our Aghanim's chest. But what really stands out here is the headgear, tunic, and weapon. Fourth is the Picea Miles Nature's Prophet Tree Ant created by Vlad the Implier, Pingi, and Adnap. This is probably the least crazy tree ant submitted to the workshop in a long while. Some of the ones included in game are so different that it seems just about anything will get accepted. But getting back to this item in particular, and it's really weird to say this, but it's kind of refreshing to see something more basic. Last but not least is a Scavenger of Sorrow Warlock Golem created by Bell. I must say this is a really kick-ass looking golem. Keep in mind that workshop artists don't get a lot to work with in terms of particle effects, so we're assuming if this were in the game there would be a lot more fire covering the golem itself. But as for the design, it is truly flawless. It reminds me of a cross between Doom and the Hellbear Smasher Neutral Creep. That's a huge compliment, by the way. 